Uh, so, hello everybody, what is going on? It is Keybush Monkey here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. Last time, while well, we were in Cerulean City, chasing after the man who stole the machine part from the power plant. This time, after recovering it and taking Misty back to the gym, well, there ain't much else for us to do except to return the machine part and see what we get. Ah, yeah! That's the missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Wah <laughs> Thanks! Here, take this TM as a reward. We get ourselves TM07 Zap Cannon. TM07 is my Zap Cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallet. It is one of the most powerful electric type moves, however, it does have some fairly low accuracy. If you do want to rock it, but though, Go ahead, but make sure you have a Pokemon armed with Mind Reader or Lock On in the event that you decide to do so. Um, what next we got to do is I'm going to be flying back to Saffron, and we're going to do a little bit of looking around and seeing what, um, what we can find. First, we want to head up to the Copycat's house, and we do want to pay her a little visit and talk with her, because she does have some, uh, major importance and, um, and something interesting to tell us. We go ahead and we talk with her. Hello! Hi, I heard that you lost your favorite Pokédoll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it. Do you think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Well, it seems like we already know where we gotta head off to. Let's go ahead and let's uh, hop on Kapora. Let's take a quick fly over to uh, Vermilion. Because in Vermilion, if we actually head off to the fan club, certain somebody does have a uh, Clefairy or a Pokey Dog with it. Talk with this guy. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one, so I'm making two with a Pokey Doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Pokey Doll is sad. Okay, could you take this Pokey Doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own. No worries. There you go. We found the lost item. Now we can return back to Saffron City. And, uh, we returned the lost item the way it should have been. There you go. Let's make our way there. Let's go let's head up to the little girl. I don't know why I said that. Let's head up to the copycats and let's give her her doll. Boom, let's go let's walk past these two. Here's your Poke doll. Yay, that's my Clefairy Poke doll. See the tier where the right leg is? So on, soon on? That's proof. Okay, here's the Magnet Train Pass, like I promised. Boom, there we go. Nice. Put the pass in the key pocket, and there we go. We could use a magnet train, and the rail company gave it to me when they tore down their old house from the station for the station. So yeah, there really ain't much else for us to do except kind of just head off to um, Lavender real quick because there is one place that we can now check out now that the power is fully restored. Let's go and let's pay a little visit to um, the radio tower. Let's see what's going on. Um, hello, here we are. Let's talk with you. Welcome, feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. Let's talk with this guy, what's up? Ah, so you're the Isaac who solved the power plant's problem? Thanks to you, I've never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real life save. Please take this as my thanks. We get ourselves the expansion card. Which is pretty awesome. The radio program's in Kento. <laughs> Yep, so now we have access to all the... We have access to all the... Shut up. We have access to all the uh, radio systems and stuff like that here in Kanto. We go ahead and we check it out. We scroll through. Mm. Nope. There you go. We have places and people. Let's all sing. And... The Pokey Flute. That is going to be of great importance for a certain sleeping Pokemon that we got to get through. But before we do that, of course, we're going to want to head off to Saffron and head off to the city to the left. Because we've explored everywhere, mainly around Saffron, except for, well, Route 7, 
and Celadon City. Early in any new encounters, everything that's the same over on Route 6 is the same here. But boom! Here we are in wonderful Celadon City. Uh, where we're going to want to go to first is... We actually want to just check around. I don't remember where we want to go to. What the hell is he doing in there? He's just sleeping. Our cat's in the kettle. <laughs> uh, I believe, where is it? It's over it here. Over. They leaned it over. Head on here, we check here and You're get ourselves a leftovers, which is pretty helpful. Allows us to recover a fraction of our health to any Pokemon that we give it to. And what else we can do is, um, where else is it? Uh, let's see, I guess really all that we can do is, there is one more TM we can get, but it is only available at night, so don't forget. You want to return to here, the Pokemon Mansion and pay visits to it at night because if you make it to the very top and I mean the very top you talk to a man and he will give you the curse to you. you check over here and we see this man hi I'm back visiting my hometown ah so it's you seen you see that he was originally from Celadon it's been quite a while Isaac have you heard there have been fresh rumors of a rainbow colored Pokemon appearing at Tin Tower I've just had my party healed, so now I'm heading to Ecrity. I'll be seeing you. Well, it seems like a rainbow-colored Pokemon is somewhere over in um, Ecrity. Oh boy, that's quite something. So with this guy, he seems interesting. Team Rocket's hideout is in the basement of the game court. Oh wait, that was three years ago. Well, that was quite interesting. Uh, let's see. See that the rainbow color Pokemon has returned back to Celadon City. You could only get that text if uh, you have taken care of Entai and Raikou. As for this little place, the game corner, check it, see what they got. See what they have in store. They have TM32, TM29, and TM15. Which, off the top of my head, I believe 32 is double team, 29 is psychic, and 15 is hyper beam. Fairly powerful moves. But not really worth it, in my opinion. Maybe the Hyper Beam if you want to, but nah. Check over here with this one, who has of great importance, and they have themselves a Pikachu. Pure Electric type, shows up at like level 15 or 20, don't remember exactly. Fairly decently powered, it is fairly tough to use, it evolves via Thunderstone. Um, has a good amount of moves though, up to you if you want to use it. Here we have ourselves Porygon. Porygon gained its uh, second evolution in Crystal. Well, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. It evolves into Porygon 2 when holding an upgrade and traded. Porygon as a Pokemon is a pure normal type, fairly high defenses with a pretty decent special attack stack. Um, can learn a whole slew and variety of moves, but probably the ones that are a big concern are Psychic and Tri Attack. Those moves can do tremendous amounts of damage with Porygon, and oh boy. Porygon can really pull you out of a lot of problems, if you know when I used it during my yellow plate. Last up is Larvitar. Larvitar is a rock ground type starting off. Larvitar is interesting to say the least. It is fairly powerful, has decent, well, defenses, but can still get taken down pretty quickly. It evolves at around level 35 into Pupitar which is still remaining a rock ground type, and then evolves at level 50, somewhere around 50, 55 I think, into a Tyranitar. Tyranitar becomes a rock dark type, giving it a quad weakness to fighting. So it is interesting, you can use it if you'd like, though that is all up to you. Um, Celadon Mansion, I will have to come back to it at night to get that TM03 curse. If you teach it to a ghost type, it'll deal half, it'll take away half their health to do constant damage to the opponent's Pokemon until they swap out or until the battle ends. Or if you teach it to any other Pokemon, if any other Pokemon can learn it, it'll lower their speed in return, raising their offense and defense. So it can be of greater in interest, and I do recommend you guys do so. Here we have ourselves the Celadon City um, Department Store, where they have loads of items for you to pick up left and right. Certainly you're going to want to check these out and get any that you think might really help you. That was the, uh, what is it, the item shop. We have our TM shop. Let's go and let's check out what kind of TMs they have. Uh, we have TM10. Pokemon ver power varies with the Pokemon. We have a hidden power. Boost fire type moves for 5 turns. That's sunny day. Uh, foils attack that turn. It may fail. That would be protect. Uh, boost water type moves for 5 turns. That is rain dance. And inflicts damage every turn. That would be sandstorm. 
In order to avoid taking damage every turn, you would need to be a rock, ground, or steel type. Though I don't have any of those Pokemon on my team, so I can't really be worrying about it. We head up here, and we have ourselves express yourself with gifts. We have the wise man's gift. He's got himself Poke Dolls and some mail. Nothing of great interest. Check this place, and it is the drugstore, the vitamin shop. You can get yourselves a bunch of vitamins that you may need on the left, and any in um, battle items that you may need on the right. Aside from that, we head up to the roof. And uh, we have ourselves the little vending machine. We could buy any of these three items, and um, yeah, we can really just get ourselves some good healing items. Fresh water, I believe, heals 60. Um, soda pop, I believe, heals. I don't know, I think a fresh water heals like 40. Soda pop heals 60. Lemonade heals 80, which is pretty good. I won't be buying any though, because it is not of personal interest. And of course, there is a gym in this area, so. If you do want to fight, you can go ahead and take it on, though I'll be taking it on much later. Uh, there really ain't much else for us to do around here. All we can kind of do is just make a way out. And, uh, oh god. Get ready for what lies ahead. Um, don't think that there's much else for us to do. Really, all that we can do is prep to go on the cycling road. Zoo boy, if you thought I forgot about it, you are certainly wrong. Certainly mistaken. Of course there is a cycling road. Of course there is a little path up north that we can't access. Though, if we wanted to, um, there is nothing special there. Um, there is only a few new encounters up on this area, and that is you can find yourself a Slugma, Pure Fire type, and Murkrow, Dark Flying type. Um... Snug ones only during the day when Murkrow only appears at night, so do keep that in mind. Um, aside from that, I don't... Oh, wow, Ralph. You're such an opportunist, aren't you? Yeah! He got... Oh, Quillfish, cool biting like tomorrow. Okay, so there's Quillfish cool all over by where Ralph is. That's cool. Not a concern, though. <sighs> of course, there are trainers along this route, the cycling road. But I'm gonna try to avoid any that I can. Let's go see... Be careful when we ride. There we go. See, I know that there's probably going to be a trainer or two that I have to fight. Um, I believe somewhere on the left side, if you move wisely, you can find a hidden item. But there we go, just like that. We've made it to the other side. And now we arrive in what is better known as a random trainer battle. <laughs> Of course, we have to take on at least one. The shortcut to Celadon, that's one way to put it, yeah. Do, do, do. Come on, let's go on this fight. Bird Keeper Bob. Quite an interesting one. Hey, I like the Pokemon he has, though. Respect that. Um, let's, go on, let's just swing. Let's use Confusion. Uh, hmm, let's see. Let's, see, let's see. go. Let's use Takedown. Okay, so. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, it's gonna get hit with recoil. He's confusion again. I guess I missed or something, or I didn't do as much as I had hoped. Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely not doing as much as I hoped for. Um, encounters on this route, nothing new. You can still find Murkrows and Slugmas during the day, uh, night and day, respectively. Uh, aside from that, there isn't much else to note. Uh, come on, let's take this on. He's confusion. Go. Doo -doo. Critical, it's fine. 1179, it's okay. We took care of Bob just like that. We are all good. Woo! So then let's head over here, and we arrive in Fuchsia City. There is no uh, real items of interest around this place. I don't even think we can progress that far into here. Head in here. And we see that this place is pretty vacant and empty. Jeez, that's quite something. Uh, we can only access the further area um, by getting cuts. Uh, we check over here where the warden was years ago. Talk with this person. My grandpa is a safari zone warden. At least he was. He decided to go on vacation and took off overseas all by himself. He quit running the safari zone just like that. We see that the Safari Zone is really no longer in use. We can't, yeah, yeah. We can't explore it. We can't do much with it. 
all we can really do is just kind of see it fall into ruin and uh, head off to just kind of journey around the place. There is a gym, of course, but we do know that Koga is no longer in charge. So who is in charge, you may ask? Uh, well, you'll find out when the time comes for us to take it on. Let's go on and let's heal up, since we can. Boom. Do do do. Go. But of course, with exploring one route, we still have a whole nother route to check out. There's so much exploring to do, and there's so much for us to not miss out on, or not worth missing out on. Um, Fuchsia City isn't all that much to explore or worry about. You do, you don't have any new items. All you have to do is really just come here and take on the gym challenge. Um, other than that, what you can do is head over here to Route 15 and be prepared for the slew of trainers that awaits you when coming down from um, Lavender Town and Vermilion. Speaking of Vermilion, we can now go back there and be ready for something whew, that I have been looking forward to. Let's go and let's head into the mart real quick. I believe we stocked up on plenty of mon uh, plenty amount of money. Let me check on actually how many balls I have. I have 10. I'm gonna buy another 10 just as a precautionary. So we're gonna need it. There we go. Don't think we're needing much else because we do know that there was a certain Pokemon blocking the way. Now, with the expansion card in tow, Snorlax is snoring peacefully. With the expansion card in tow, let's go to the music. Let's activate the Poke Flute. The Poke Gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. And here we go, we take on Snorlax. This is the only Snorlax you can find in the game. So be sure if you want it, you make sure you catch it. Snorlax is level 50, pure normal type. I believe it has a Chesto Berry as a held item, I'm not sure. With the moves of probably Tackle or Body Slam or Stomp. Rest, Snore, and Sleep Talk. Something along those lines of its wild, diverse moveset. Just gonna let's start off with the Hypnosis, see if we can put it to sleep. See if it does have a berry like I think so. Or not a chest over here, I forget. It's a Sleep Cure Berry or whatever. It's just, you, it's going to use Confusion now. Chip its health down, try to get it fairly low, and attempt to catch it. Oh goodness, I barely did nothing with that. Ooh, that's a little... Oh, it has leftovers. There we go. You're definitely going to want to make sure you catch this, because if you've got the leftovers that was in Celadon, you can get a bonus one from the Snorlax, meaning you'll have two leftovers to put on your team. That is pretty good. It woke up already. Yep, it has Snore. So it has Snore, Rest, probably has Sleep Tuck, and probably has Body Slam. There's Rest, as expected. Just fly, see if that does any damage. That did some, at least. Oh, it's a rollout, okay. So rest, snore, rollout. What, what's next? Uh, what's next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Covered with leftovers. Oh my gosh. Come on, critical hit. That did some good damage. Covered with leftovers. Let's try putting it to sleep. Damn it. Body slam. Yep, roll out, body slam, snore, rest. Okay, I was hoping to put it to sleep before it uses rest itself and recovers all its health. This fight can get annoying, so I don't know how well I'm going to do. Oh, jeez, and down goes Kipura, which means I can't put it to sleep. There's a critical two. So I guess really the best bet for me is going to be Oceus, because Oceus can paralyze it and confuse it. Ugh. Let's go on, let's use uh, Thunder Wave first. There we go. Paralyze it, which is nice. Recovered some with leftovers, let's use Confuse Ray, just so that way he can't. Hopefully, won't be doing too much damage to us or being able to rest. Confused. Heart self confusion, thank you. Yeah. Keep recovering some health. Let's go on and use Waterfall. See if it does some good damage. Not enough to KO, but some good damage. 
Okay, that did some decent damage. Not a whole lot, but some decent damage. Fully paralyzed, it's fine. Perfusion doing the work that I hoped for. Waterfall again. Go, it's confused still. He's snore, so it's not gonna do anything that turn. Use waterfall again. Come on, get it fairly low. Okay, it's confused no more, that's fine. I'd rather have it just paralyzed now since so it's fairly low. There we go, thank goodness. So let's uh, try checking an Ultra Ball now and see how well we do. Here goes our first one. Boom! Step number one. One, two, three! Damn it! Ugh, I'm already getting Raikou vibes from this and I don't like it. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay to use another Waterfall. I don't think it'll do enough to KO, but it'll do enough to get into the red. Or I can hit a critical. Well, damn. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't save for a long while, but I'll certainly be back here to catch that damn Snorlax, and I'll read its entry upon catching it next video, or at least after. But yeah, that'll be it for now. Next time, we get to explore Diglett Cave, and we get to check out the rest of Route 11 and every other area we haven't gone over. Whew! We're getting close to wrapping things up, which is pretty exciting. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please show me some love and support. That'd be deeply appreciated. Whew. We're getting pretty well and far into the Kanto region. But yeah, we're almost done with it. And just like that. That'll be it for now, though. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all did enjoy. And I will, of course, be seeing all you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.